The Ark of the Covenant represents the presence of God. Why did the Ark leave? Why was the Ark taken out of the temple? Because God's presence had already left the temple. And I don't know where the Ark is. Maybe it is in Ethiopia. There's a possibility it is. They claim they've got it in Ethiopia. Maybe they do. Maybe it's under the Temple Mount. There are those that claim that the Temple Mount was built with arches. They didn't just pile on dirt to make the, the top of Mount Moriah flat. They built arches underneath it. This was King Herod that designed the arches. And arches can hold a tremendous amount of weight. And so he built arches on the mountain. So they say under the Temple Mount in these arches is a cave and people have seen the Ark of the Covenant and that they took it down and they hid it in one of those arches and that it's been discovered and will be brought out when the temple is rebuilt. I don't know. But what the, the Ark of the Covenant that we saw represents is the presence of God. Now, you and I are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The presence of God is in us. No wonder Colossians says that we're to live our lives in such a way that people can see Christ in us, the hope of glory. That we are to represent Him wherever we go, and be used by Him. We, we now are the earthly right now. And even when the t tribulation temple is rebuilt, it's us and not them. So that people that argue against a third temple being built will say, well, third temple is not going to be built because we're going to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. But the third temple isn't a, 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 a temple that's going to hold the presence of God. We're still going to hold the presence of God. Believers will still hold that presence during that time. 